If you've never played Destiny before, then you picked an excellent time to get started, or to hop back in. With the launch of the Taken King, you'll have a lot of content to experience, new and old, be it story missions, strikes, prison of elders, raids, the crucible, or more. To help you get an idea of what you're jumping into, let's go over a few of the choices you'll have. To start, when hopping into the Taken King, you're going to have a few options when choosing how your adventure will begin. First, if you just want to hop into the game and play with your friends, you can create a new character, go through the tutorial, and then stop at the Postmaster to grab a spark of light. This little item will immediately power up your Guardian to level 25 so you can join your friends or hop into all of the Taken King story missions and beyond. However, if you want to experience Destiny from the start, you can do that too. Just hop into the game's story to get started. Your ghost and the non-playable characters in the tower will guide you along the way. No matter how you hop into the game, be sure you try out the Strike missions. These are three-player cooperative objectives you can do with friends or other players the game will randomly match you with. They usually end with a boss encounter of some sort, so bring your big guns and get to work. These missions are also a great way to obtain some of the lower level gear, and if you really enjoy them, there's a playlist you can access as you climb the ranks. If you prefer traditional FPS multiplayer, then the Crucible might be right up your alley. There are multiple game types to check out, so try them and decide which is your favorite. Control, for example, has you and your team try to hold three separate points on a map while killing the opposing team for points. Rumble throws you into a free-for-all match where you'll kill anyone that you see, and of course, there are plenty more multiplayer options to choose from. Once you hit the highest levels Destiny has to offer, you can even hop into the Iron Banner or Trials of Osiris. These game types are where the top players go to show off their teamwork and compete for some of the game's best rewards. At level 28, you can also start the Prison of Elders. This unlocks after completing the House of Wolves storyline and pits you against wave after wave of enemy with a chance at a big reward at the end. Pay attention to the modifiers here because they can help or hurt you along the way. While on the topic of endgame content, let's talk about raids for a second. Once you hit level 28, you'll be able to jump into the first raid, the Vault of Glass. Taking place on Venus, this raid will challenge you and five of your closest friends to cooperate, solve its puzzles, and defeat the game's most powerful enemies. If you have trouble finding a group, you can always try DestinyLFG.com or DestinyLFG.net to find a group to help you along the way. There are two more raids you can try out at higher levels, of course. Around level 30 is the Dark Below, which will pit you against none other than Crota, the son of Oryx. Traverse his hive-infested lair and defeat his son Crota before heading into the newest raid mission, King's Fall. But before you go in, be sure you have the best gear possible. Those are just a few of the options available to players hopping into Destiny. If you ever find yourself stuck, be sure you hop onto IGN.com slash wikis for any Destiny help you may need along the way. And for more on Destiny, you're already in the right place, IGN.